this person's actions were very, very suspect and very easily could have been considered dangerous to the public at large. New video is released of a gunman wanted at a crime spree walking the streets of Tucson, Arizona, and it's how a cop decided to take him out that has people talking. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Carlo has the night off. The officer didn't tase or shoot the suspect. He mowed him down with his cruiser. It's a shocking move that some are praising tonight. CBS News 8's Richard Allen is here now with the graphic video. Richard? And Barbara Lee, in the hours leading up to this shocking takedown, police from Marana, Arizona, a suburb of Tucson, say that this armed suspect had already stolen a car, broke into a church, and pulled off a home invasion. Now, we want to warn you that this video you're about to see is graphic. The dash cam video is jarring as a police cruiser is used to bring a sudden end to an extensive crime spree. In the minutes leading up to this, the suspect had refused to surrender. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Identified by police as Mario Valencia, he had allegedly just stolen a rifle and ammunition from a nearby Walmart. Put the gun down. Just put the gun down. Which he refused to do, pointing the loaded weapon at the officers trailing him and then firing into the air. One round just went out. And just moments after one officer warns another squad car not to approach from the opposite direction. Uh, unit right there, just stand off, stand off. The gun is, gun is loaded. Unit. Seemingly out of nowhere, another cruiser blasts into frame, mowing down the suspect with his back to the car. Jesus Christ, man down. It was uh, pretty rough. Uh, that's a, that's definitely a different way to uh, stop a confrontation. CBS News 8 chopper reporter Phil Constantine served for decades as a CHP officer. Taking him out in a very dramatic fashion uh, could be conceived as a way that might have saved some additional lives. It could also be just seen as over overuse of force. Miranda's police chief says protecting the lives of innocent bystanders was paramount. You, you can sit back and Monday morning quarterback this uh, till you're blue in the face. Give him another two seconds and maybe he would have given another 10 seconds, who knows, given another 15 seconds and uh, oh my God, we've got a national tragedy on our hands. Let's put it this way, the man did survive and nobody else was hurt. Now, Valencia was seriously injured in that crash, but after two days recuperating in the hospital, was sent to jail. Now, his attorney tells CBS News that, according to her, it appears that no officer told her client to stop or drop his weapon before striking him with that cruiser, equating that to her client being shot in the back. Barbara Lee. All right, Richard, thanks. Marana, Arizona police say the officer responsible for the takedown will not face any criminal charges.